So, so litigation we talked about, you know, it's like courts are, you know, it's a bit ironic our court system is set up that you have a conflict with someone and you say, okay, I'll get my lawyer, you get law your lawyer, and we'll send them into court and we'll solve our conflict by making them fight each other in court. So we use one conflict to solve another conflict. But that's because the, the court system did not originate in the Philippines, okay? So someone was asking, what is the difference between conflict transformation and um, conflict management? So we have these terms, okay, that develop. Oh, this is the one, yeah. Yeah, sure, everything's fine. Okay, so sometimes we feel like con conflict management is something, sort of the assumption behind that, and it comes out of business, and there's good, actually good things in conflict management, uh, but it comes out with this assumption, we can just manage it, we can just deal with it, if we have everything in place, and it focuses mostly on problems, and not so much on the relationship between people. Well, what's the issue? Let's, okay, let's talk about it. You said your piece, you said your side, okay. Glad or not, we saw Nasul Badna. It's it's done. So So conflict management, sometimes the issue is still there because we didn't actually look into the relational aspects. Okay, so conflict resolution would say, ah, oh, we need to go a bit deeper. We need to really talk about communication and helping people communicate better. So that's why we want to clarify item 14. Uh, the cat wants to have Mr. Birdie over for dinner. What does that mean? The cat will eat Mr. Birdie or they will eat together their dinner. So conflict resolution is, ah, let's really look at how we communicate. So good, that's a good thing. We learn something from that, okay? So let's, let's, let's focus on what's the issue, how do we, it's hard to read, it says, first, can we agree that it's a big backyard? Okay, the dog is usually the one chasing the squirrel. So they say, no, well, let's set, uh, first, you don't need to chase the squirrel, it's a big backyard. But the identity of the dog and the identity of the squirrel says differently. So how do you deal with conflict where people's sense of identity is actually feeling hit, feeling affected? So that's why we say, we need to look at transformation because transformation says the conflict actually becomes part of our life, part of our relationship. It's not just an issue that you can sort of diagnose like, you know, a car that broke down. It's very dynamic. And so what we want to see is to look at conflict as a, pos as a positive, as an opportunity for change and to act in a ways that maximize that positive potential for change. So it's like taking a new set of glasses. Oh, I see conflicts as a steward, as an opportunity, as a potential for positive change. Okay, who speaks Chinese here? <laughs> I speak a very, you Indian, huh? Okay, Wei means, so in Chinese, the word for crisis means, who's seen this before? Wei Qi, did I say that right? So, but there's two characters in it. Wei, which means that's the danger, but Qi means there's opportunity. That's right. See, you know you teach these things and you sometimes wonder, no. Um, so again, even, so there's this cultural understanding, even in, among, in the Chinese culture, that's embedded in the language. Okay. So conflict transformation says, it's not just the issue that confronts you, the visible aspect, there's also invisible aspects. There's also the context. So what's going on around, on the outside? That affects the conflict, the contradiction, the behavior, okay? If, if I'm having a conflict with one of my teachers and I'm a principal and it's the last week of school, and they're under a lot of pressure and stress to get their paper grading done and all this stuff. And I say, you need, you need to do this. I need this output on my desk by Friday. And that teacher goes, Wah! I can't handle it anymore. 
Maybe it's the context. Maybe if that had happened at the in the first month of the school year, it wouldn't have been a big deal. So the context makes a big difference in how conflicts happen. And then the attitudes, the relationships. So conflict transformation says, we're going to look, there is an issue here, but what's underneath it? What are the relationships? How is it affecting our relationships together? And what is the, what is the wider context for this? And that can be not just personal, it can be relational. So it can be something within myself. It can also be between us. It can be structural and it can be cultural, okay? So these are all part of the bigger picture of conflict transformation. Okay, Psalm 85, verse 10 to 13 <clears throat> says, Grace and truth have met together. Justice and peace have kissed each other. Some translations will use different words, righteousness or mercy. But anyway, truth springs up from the earth and justice looks down from heaven. Faithfulness will spring up from the ground and righteousness from the sky. The Lord will give what is good and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before him and will make a path for his steps. So we, we have this sort of this description of what are we describing here? We have grace and truth, justice and peace, truth, faithfulness. And the picture is that, you know, sometimes it's like the justice and the peace. Some people say, well, in order to have peace, you have to have justice. But in order for us to have justice, we have to, you know, the people responsible have to pay the, you know, pay the consequences. That's justice. And then some people say, well, how can that be peaceful? Because that sounds pretty hard, okay? So how do we find, where do we find a place where justice and peace can actually come together? And how can we have grace and truth? Because if I want you to speak the truth about what happened, what if I'm not ready to speak the whole truth? It's hard sometimes to speak the truth. So where, so how, but in order for, in order to know and to have justice, we need to have that truth. But we also have to have grace with one another, right? We have to have some mercy because this is not an easy process when we're stuck in a conflict. So where do we have this space where? Justice, grace, peace, and truth can all come together.